Well, I think just down the stretch, uh, you know, we're getting us off to a good start was great, but um, you know how we finished. Uh, you can look at the second half; we, we stalled out a bit offensively. Uh, they amped up their pressure and that bothered us a little bit, um, but that's you know that's the nature of the game. And bottom line, we were we were able to overcome, make enough plays late. Um, you know, big possession, big stop, um, got free throws. So you know, not ideal to, to find ourselves in that situation, but. You know, also learning experience. Uh, so to, to come away with a win, you know, and it's okay to win ugly sometimes. Okay, 98, 97, I think that's the defense that stopped your first right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what, was, what was your team looking to accomplish and how well did it execute? What it was well, just, you know, we, we knew that it was going to boil down to a pick and ISO game. Um, and, you know, especially in the second half, you know, they attacked downhill possession after possession. Um, I think 34 points in the paint in that second half. So, um, you know, they were putting a lot of pressure on, on our back line. Uh, Jordan was picking rolls, and they made some big threes out of pick and rolls. So adjusting, you know, to a deeper drop to try to minimize our tags. Um, I thought we did a better job on the ball at the point of attack to kind of minimize, you know, the pull ups and you know get that ball under control. But um, it, it's tough because you know that that's a strength of theirs, and we knew down the stretch they were going to go to that. What did you see from Denny and Porzingis? Oh, Denny was, uh, he was really good, especially early. Um, he had a nice rhythm. He was playing aggressive downhill. Um, really good at pick and rolls as a scorer, playmaker. I think he got a little fatigued, um, you know, ran him a, a bit too long, but um, I like that group that was out there. So, um, you know, we had, we had to bring him, get him out to get him back. But uh, um, I thought he was, had, had a really good night. And, and Christoph? Uh, him, him as well. I mean, he, he's kind of a steadying presence. You know, you can kind of play through him. Um, with his size, stature, you know he can get a shot off, um, you know, get to, get him to a spot and, and, and let him do his thing. But he uh, he made some big plays late. Um, I think it uh, it's just one of those things you know it's a comfort level um, that uh, you know there's a trust factor. All our guys on the floor know they can play through him, whether it's pick and pop or in the post, and it, it kind of settles us down at times. No, he did not. I was about to. I promise. <laughs> You stole his thunder. How do you think that affected things? Uh, well, I thought we had a great start. You know, um, I think Sato kept us organized and he found KP early. Uh, there's an obvious synergy between those two and, uh, you know, came into play tonight. So uh, it worked out well. It was good. He, defensively, I thought he was solid. Um, but, you know, once again, his size and, and his ability to play make over smaller guards is, it, it makes a difference at times. But, uh, the fact that he was able to keep us organized is big. Is that why it was besides why you wanted to make the change? Or maybe you kind of well, uh, yes, a little bit of both. Um, you know, we, switching, you know, onto their bigger wings is at times problematic. But I also wanted to see, you know, how he fit in that first group. And it's certainly nothing against Ha or Ish or anybody. But um, just give it a different look. And it, it worked out well. Uh, really it felt like it a little bit came out of nowhere, <laughs> uh, but got everybody on the bench kind of excited. Yeah, no, it's great. I mean, hopefully he'll do it more often. <laughs> but um, he's, sh he's shown flashes of that. You know, I think recently he's been playing downhill more. Obviously, we've talked about his three-point shooting, and, you know, he continues to be confident in that. But his post-ups, uh, you know, getting to his left hand, playing downhill, um, you know, to, to mix the, the balance of that, I think is it's tough to guard. Uh, you, you want to close to him, and, you know, the way he's been shooting the three as of late, so now it just opens up the drive. Um, a perfect example, he got downhill and he, you know, threw it down with authority. So I think it's, it's a great play for him. It's one of those momentum shifting plays for, for our group. I want to clarify and make sure I heard something correctly. Are you saying that Sato's size and ability to switch was one of the reasons why? You're... Yes. Okay. Yeah. Chase. Hey, Wes. Um, on the change of point guard, obviously earlier this year, you had the three center rotation, then you kind of decided to go to two. Um, was a similar decision made this time where, you know, maybe it'll be two point guards moving forward? Uh, we'll see how that works out. I'm not, I'm not going to commit to uh, that wholeheartedly. I think, you know, we have a small sample of games to play. Um, gives us an opportunity to look at some things. Um, obviously, he played well tonight. Um, we, we saw him, I'm proud of the way he stepped up and stepped in. Um, but I'm not going to completely rule out, you know, 
him at the two and you know playing Hau and Ish the point guard. I think when you have a guy like him, he he can go, uh, he can play both positions, um, and he's done that for us. Just as he gets more comfortable at, at the point guard, you know, understanding our offense and keeping us organized, it's it uh, allows him you know more minutes. And how about the fact that uh, you know Chris Tapps rolled his ankle and was able to stay in there and make big plays right after that? Yeah, I mean it's it's one of those issues where you, you see it happen, he goes down. He's probably uh, you know the, for me it's at moment of oh boy and he got he got right back up and kind of walked it off so um you know I don't I don't see it being any issue or having any residual um, I'm sure he'll get treatment and get someone to look at it but didn't look substantial enough to, to, to worry about it and with Denny uh his scoring seems to come in bunches um you know kind of games clustered together is that just a sign of a young player and, and confidence being important uh I, I guess I mean I think it's you know, human nature you, you see a couple go in you're probably going to be more confident to do it again. Um, but, you, you know, yeah, it's just the, the comfort level of reading what the defense presents, taking advantage of that, whether it's, you know, downhill, um, you know, reading the defenders and making the right plays or finishing, you know, in, in the paint. So I think it's a mix of all of that. But the more you do it and you have success, of course, your level of confidence is going to, you know, go up. Zach. Um, hey, Coach, uh, Rui left for a few minutes in the first quarter. Uh, did he roll his ankle as well at that point? Or? Yeah, it was just a, a quick roll. And once I don't think it was anything substantial. He just wanted to retape it. Um, so he went back, got it taped, and tightened it up. And it didn't seem to have any ill effect. Also, um, he did pick up a technical after his big dunk. But how much do you like to see that kind of raw emotion from him? The more, the better. I mean, obviously, we want to maintain composure. but. I don't think he meant it disrespectful, but it, it's, it's just one of those basketball plays. He, he made a hell of a play, and it, it's natural reaction to it. I think we all reacted. <laughs> so uh, to, to see the excitement in his face and to let it out, you know, I think is great. Uh, he needs to do that more often. Thank you. Neil. Hey, Coach, just kind of following up on Chase's question about KP's ankle, I guess, is there anything where, you know, he just gives you a look or the medical staff a look that, you know, okay, I'm fine. I'm going to play through this or do you guys have him? I asked him, you okay? He's like, I'm good. So that's all I can go on. Um, you know, of course, they'll look at it, you know, now after the game, and you know, he'll, he'll do his normal ice routine and, and therapy if he needs it. But I don't think it was anything substantial. So hopefully it won't be an issue. Thanks, Coach. Tip travels back. Thank you. We have one more in-person question. Uh, I understand you'll commit to Sion for the rest of the season as a starter, but will he start probably on Sunday? We'll see. <laughs> Before I go, I just want to give a shout out to the Go-Go. Um, I think they clinched tonight, so um, congratulations. Obviously, Mike Williams and the staff have done a terrific job. Really excited for uh, to see what they do. So uh, go Capital City Go-Go. <laughs> Last night, with, from last night's game, I think we felt like we, uh, we 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 didn't play the way we want to play, the way we want to finish the season. We didn't have the we didn't have the energy we you know we need uh, to especially to beat a team like Milwaukee. Even with with those two guys out, they're still you know a really good team and they played to win. So um, yeah, we wanted to come out and and, and start off on on you know start off aggressive with good energy leave that game behind but make sure we don't make the same mistakes and and, um, and yeah you know they're they competed hard Detroit you know they have a good core of young guys that play hard compete hard and uh, yeah it was an easy one but we got it done in the fourth quarter I think you had 11 is that when a team's kind of charging at you like they were that's got to be a pretty comfortable situation for you where you're kind of like I know I can do my thing and get to my spots you kind of take us through what you were looking at in the fourth yeah, just um, trying to take advantage of the mismatches and shooting the ball with confidence. Um, my teammates fighting me in good situations, easy ones. Just kind of added up again, and um, and you know, hats off to, to my teammates and, and coaches that that trusted me and and uh, and I enjoy those you know those clutch moments or those you know last possessions when there's more on the line. I always you know I think every basketball player enjoys those shots more you know. What's it like for you having Sato back on guard in the first 
Oh, yeah, I felt like we we're back in Sevilla. <laughs> <laughs> just like Sevilla here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, it was good. He played really well, and as I said, he found me in multiple situations where I just were able to get three, four easy baskets because of him, his drives and stuff. And um, yeah, it's good. It's good to be out there with him and, and playing now in the NBA together. What does he bring to the to the group? Yeah, I think he's one of the hardest playing guys you see on uh, on the court every night. Every time he subs in, he's just all over the place, running around, chasing after guys uh, on the defensive end, and then and then experienced and and uh, smart player on the offensive end, making the right plays for his teammates. Um, and at the end, you know that's that's the type of player you want to have on a on a winning team, you know, in a winning culture, and, and he has those qualities. So I, I really enjoy playing with my guy. There was one play where you had a few pump fakes right there at the rim. Uh, did you get a kick out of seeing your teammates afterward? Mm. Um, <laughs> good nature wise. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, they were just having fun. We're having fun. We try to enjoy the game and have fun. And, um, and yeah, you know, I'm so tall that they're telling me I don't need a bump fake, but uh, I don't know. I just want to like this, like to show some a little bit of my skill set, maybe, and, and uh, do some things like that. But I don't know. It's just natural. I, I played instinctively, and that uh, yeah, was a, it was a, it was a fun, fun, fun game. But we didn't have we didn't have any doubts that would fit in. But if they didn't like you, they wouldn't tease you. Like, is that, do you feel like, how do you feel like you've been embraced? No, yeah, everybody's been great. Uh, I think I, that's the thing. I, it was weird, but I clicked with everybody right off the bat as soon as I got here. And not just the players, the medical staff and everybody in the organization welcomed me with open arms. And, um, and yeah, my teammates, we, we you know, um, good group of, good group of guys and, um, that really, you know, get off, uh, get, um, uh, get, I say, uh, get along really well off the court, you know. So that translates on the court. You were impressed by Rui's windmill dunk. I was. Did you see my reaction? I was, I was excited for him. Yeah, uh, it was just a random play. Um, kept moving the ball, um, threw it to him. Kind of set like a half screen slip, and, and they didn't know what to do. So he got the drive and left hand. I was, that was impressive. Chase. Hey, KP, uh, just wanted to get your take on Denny Avdia's night, uh, particularly you know, the boost he gave you guys in the first half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Denny was great. As the game was going, he's, uh, his confidence just kept, kept growing and he looked really comfortable out there. And, and, um, and yeah, he's, you know, he's, uh, he's, he's having, you know, those, those kind of uh, glimpses, you know, or he's, you know, looking really, really good and, and and comfortable out there. And you know, now his his job is to be more consistent with those good good uh, moments and good games and and put that all together and and keep growing as a player. Uh, but yeah, I think we're you know we're everybody was was happy to see him um, play play so good tonight. Christos, hey KP, great game, great win. Uh, that performance, 30-point game, 10 rebounds. What's your mindset you, when you step on the floor? Do, did you feel that you are the best player on the floor? Yeah, I wanted to be aggressive from the beginning. Um, that was my mindset. I didn't want to let the game pass and then, you know, try to get in the rhythm. Um, uh, yeah, the, that, that was pretty much it. I just wanted to... <laughs> I just wanted to um, just be aggressive uh, Get to the line, get to the free throw line, um, be aggressive, you know, create for my teammates, just overall aggressiveness. Um, and that was that was my main thing. And and then the game just came to me and then, you know, especially towards the end. So uh yeah, uh, you know, it's, it was uh it was, uh, things were clicking tonight and and I have to keep that aggressiveness going forward. And the way do you react when uh, the patients take the lead? What what sign of growth was from your perspective? Yeah, we have to stay calm. You know, they're, as I said, they're a young group of, of you know, hard playing guys and they got the crowd into it. And, um, and yeah, we had to stay calm, make the right play. And we didn't force anything towards the end. Um, look for our mismatches and, and play well off of each other. I think Pope was, was excellent uh, on the defensive end for us down the stretch. And Thomas made some big plays on both ends. Um, 
so yeah, it was it was a good 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 night overall for us. You know, they're obviously a young team and and their record is not the best, but but lately they've been playing really well and and now we have to respect that and, and come in here, especially at their home home court, and uh, and bring you know bring our game to make sure that we get this W. Thank you very much. Keep up. Thank you. Last question to Neil. Hey KP, um, when you turned your ankle, I guess with the initial feeling, just like you know, everybody turns their ankle, but how quickly did you know that you know you would be able to just be able to play through it? Yeah, I didn't know at first. I I stayed back. I I, I was like, it felt like it was pretty bad at first. You know, obviously the the shock of of rolling it and then you hear cracking and everything. I was like, oh, this is bad. But then I just kind of walked it off for a little bit. I was like, okay, I can maybe get it going. Um, and yeah, and just I, I knew if I did, if I came out the game, then it would be tough for me to 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 stay stay warm and stay loose. So I try to just shake it off, keep pushing, and uh, and keep playing. And yeah, and right off, you know, I, I hit the three, I think, and then I got a lob, uh, and just kept playing, and and um, and that was it. So yeah, it was unfortunate play, but but I'm feeling I'm feeling okay now. And I guess you kind of just touched on it, but. Now that you know potentially you've been off of it for a little bit, how does it feel? Does it, you know, I know day after it can kind of get swollen up. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm about to actually go get treatment right now. Um, I don't think it's that bad. It's I can feel maybe swelling up a little bit, but um, but I'll I'll go get some treatment and uh, and we'll see how I feel tomorrow morning. Basketball is always fun for you, but how fun was that game? It was fun because I felt like the whole team was kind of in a rhythm. I felt that we played together. I felt like we were fighting. I mean, we let go of the cat gas pedal a little bit in the end. And um, it seems like we're doing that a lot this season. It's something we need to improve on. It's like how to know how to finish game and how to maintain our focus and our, our energy throughout 48 minutes. But overall, like the, like we were just having fun out there, um, playing defense, talking to each other, communicating. I know, every, nothing, I know everything wasn't perfect. But uh, it was a great, a great effort, especially after a back-to-back, -back, especially like with all the circumstances, circumstances we came uh, to this game, and uh, we didn't, we didn't get the excuses to, to get over our head. So I'm glad we won that game. How did you redo your energy to come in tonight? Yesterday you looked like you were a little bit. Slumpy. Yeah, I felt slumpy uh, versus Milwaukee, Milwaukee but. Um, you know, it's part of the league. It's like, all right, we got the next game. Uh, you know, like, you know how to take care of your body. Um, just know really like every every night to find a way, find a way to play, find a way like to uh, to win games. And it's it, winning in this league is tough. And um, for me, I'm still learning. But you know, it's it's not it's not all about me. I mean, it's 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 a team mentality. Um, and like nobody can win on his own. So we need everybody every night. And I think we did a great job. How in rhythm and uh, on target with your shooting did you feel in the first half? <laughs> I felt good. I, I was always believing in my shot. I, I mean, I think like my my percentage are lying a little bit. Um, I'm still, you know, experiencing. Not every night I feel like uh, I feel uh, shooting good shooting wise, but it's something that I learn learn from. And I think as I mature and um, I'll be more experienced, like. I'll be more fo focused on a uh, three-point shot. And I think the percentage will go up with time too. Like I'm putting, putting in a lot of work. I'm shooting almost every night and I'm, I'm, keep, I'm keep believing in my shot. I'm not staying away. I'm not afraid to shoot. So that's the, that's the most important. It's like just me being focused and believing and, and knowing that every shot can go in. You respect good, you play good defense. You respect good defense. What does Sadoransky bring to the team? Just how smart he is on the court. Like he sees guys, he he knows how to take advantage um, of mismatches. Like he always looking for for the open shot, and um, just fun to play with. He's he's a guy that is really fun playing with him, and um, great personality on and off the court. And um, he's a great addition, great addition to the team. What do you think of Brady's dunk? Oh my God! I think uh, <laughs> I think it was worth the tech. <laughs> I think it was worth the tech. We all talked about it. Uh, just him being aggressive. You know, he's a strong dude. He he goes out to the rim like like you, you better watch out. So um, I'm glad he had that highlight. Uh, he deserved that, and uh, that got us going. So um, 
It's nice to have it. Chase. Hey, Denny. Uh, how big was Chris Stapps, particularly in the fourth quarter, 11 points in the fourth, as you guys are trying to close this one out? Uh, Chris Stapps is important uh, throughout the whole game, but especially in the fourth quarter, like um, how he maintain, uh, how he keeps his, his, his uh, focus and how he keeps shooting the ball. And, and, and he, he really knows uh, how to pun punish mismatches. Um, I mean, uh, big players make big plays, so um, he just holds us good in the stretch, and uh, hopefully he's gonna keep doing so. Uh, and we need him. He's a he's a great, great, uh, great offensive player, and uh, just hopefully he's gonna keep going. Your uh, scoring has has been up uh, recently, um, and it seems to kind of come in bunches. You know, games cluster together. What have you kind of learned as a young player about just consistency? scoring uh, from game to game, no matter, you know, how, how you're feeling out there? Um, consistency is very important in this league, I feel like. And I know not every night, like, you know, you're going to start with 17 points in the first half and you're going to, like, break your career high every night. But just knowing your role, knowing, like, what shots are more comfortable, like, knowing how to use your size, how to use my advantages. And, like, um, I think that's something you learn um, as, I, as I play more and more. And um, hopefully, like, I am keep working on my game, add stuff to my game, and hopefully I'll stay consistent. But, um, you know, nothing nothing of this will happen if I didn't have my teammates that, that was looking for me and, and, and giving me, like, good passes and finding me in, in the open threes. And uh, that's a big shout-out to them, first of all. So, Neil? Hey, Denny, I'm curious, and, you know, Sato has not been here for a long period of time, but given that he's a, you know, taller point guard, taller ball handler, have you been able to pick his mind at all in, you know, improving your own game? I think height matters in, like, uh, passing, um, seeing over the defense. Um, I can't tell you, like, we're similar game style, but you really, like, you see how uh, Sato – comes off the screen and how his height helps him like to uh, see players, see open spaces. And it's something that uh, I think it's important. It's not all, but it's something that um, it's a good addition to have. Um, I'm just glad I had a chance to play with, with, with a good, good player and a good person uh, like Sato and hopefully we're gonna keep going. And you mentioned about, you know, your percentages shooting the ball, you feel that, you know, you're better shooter than what they might necessarily say. Do you feel like teams look at those percentages and are kind of just, you know, willing to give that shot up to you? Uh, great question, because uh, I feel like they are. I feel like uh, as like the percentage, sometimes they treat me like I can't shoot or like they closing a little bit short to me. It doesn't mean like I'm not, not gonna shoot it, you know, like I know what I'm capable of. I know like how my shot uh, can be. Um, sometimes like I'm just going in the slump and I just don't make, um, but I'm not, I'm not taking it personal. Like I'm going to just keep shooting. And if they want to sag off me, like that's fine. It's going to be more open shots. So. Thanks, Danny. Safe travels back. You too. Christos. Hey, Danny, great game. Uh, in the last three game stretch, how do you feel about your confidence level is right, uh, right now? Confidence feels good. I feel good on the court. My body feels good. I, I'm working on my game every day. So, you know, it's just like, I feel like it's like more like maturing. Like, like I played a lot of games. Uh, it's my second season, you know, towards the end of the season. Like, I'm, I'm, I feel more free. I feel like I can help the team in, in, in many, in many ways. And I'm just, I'm just having fun being in, being there on the court and just making plays for my teammates and, and winning games.